I'm Nala and I grew up in the lovely city of Ottawa. Um, as a kid, I was a dancer, so I got to travel competitively to all these dance competitions across Canada and the US, which was an amazing experience. Um, and then for high school, I got to go to the lovely Canterbury Arts High School for dance. Um, so dance was a big part of my life growing up. Then for a post-secondary education, I uh, went to Guelph and Toronto universities. And then I realized that I really wanted to settle back in Ottawa. And now I live in the West End of Ottawa with my wonderful husband, Jules, and our uh, two-year-old son, Declan, and our cute little puppy, uh, Bentley, who's a little labradoodle. So life has changed quite a bit in the last few years for me. It's been busy, and now we're expecting another little one to add to the crew. Um, and then professionally, I've been lucky enough to turn a wonderful friendship into a great uh, business relationship. Um, I feel really proud to be a part of the Indian Patty team. I feel like we really take pride in treating all our clients like family, which is a really important aspect of um, being in this business. I think being able to um, show that you have honesty and integrity is really an important part of helping people through this really big uh, purchase in their life. Okay, so what do I do when I'm not working? That's an interesting question because I feel like that's changed a lot for me in the last few years. Um, in the last three and a half years, I've gotten married, I've had um, a little baby, and now we're waiting for our second baby. So life is busy, <laughs> um, but it's lots of fun. I, uh, my son is very much a boy. He likes to jump and climb and make loud noises and anything that has a motor, he is obsessed with tractors, diggers, anything like that. So that's opened a whole new world for me that I never really had. I was a, a girly girl growing up, so I liked dance and theater, so this is a whole other side of things. Now my days consist of following the garbage truck all around the neighborhood. <laughs> Outside of being a mom and a wife, um, I've always loved dancing. That's been a huge part of my life growing up, and then I carried that into kind of my adult life. Um, I transitioned that into some musicals where I met the lovely Ambien Patty, which has obviously turned into a great uh, friendship and working relationship, so I feel very lucky about that. Now I would say a lot of our evenings are consisting of board games and Netflix, but uh, that's also a really great way to spend our time too. What is my favorite real estate memory? So that's a tough one because there's a lot of good ones, but I'm gonna pick a recent story. So I was working with a really lovely couple who uh, were looking for their first home together. And as we know, it's a really tough market for buyers. So we'd seen quite a few houses and we'd put in a few offers and been unsuccessful. And then we came across this house, which was really perfect for them. So we were all set to put in an offer on offer day. And then of course, a couple days before that, um, the sellers had received a preemptive offer and they had a very tight timeline and of course on that day my clients were driving to Toronto and I was going back and forth to Kempville for showings so it was just perfect timing. <laughs> um, but anyways we got an offer together and my clients had really wanted to write their own letter to explain to the homeowners why they um, wanted to buy that, that house. So I offered to write the letter for them and they proofread it and signed off on it and we included it in our offer. And after a few tense phone calls back and forth, um, I was able to let them know that the sellers loved the letter and they only wanted to sell to them and that they had just purchased their first home. And it was funny because on the other end of the phone, I feel like they were just in shock <laughs> at first, but that quickly turned into a big celebration. And it's moments like those that you just never get tired of. So what is my funniest real estate memory? I always find these questions so hard, but um, early on in my career, I was um, going to do a showing with Patty, actually, and I just ended up being the first one there. This was a client I hadn't met before, so of course I was trying to make a good impression. And so I said, oh, well, I'll let you into the house. So I go and open the door, well, attempt to open the door. <laughs> I try the lock a few times and I'm just kind of making casual conversation, trying not to bring attention to the fact that I'm struggling. Um, but clearly it was not opening. So I had to say, you know, I don't really know what's going on here, but I can't get the lock to work. So I walk away for a second. Sometimes that helps. <laughs> you walk away, you try it again, still wasn't opening. So I didn't really know what to do. <laughs> so I called the listing agent because sometimes there's a situation where, you know, there's a trick to it. And he was kind of like, no, you just open the lock. 
Uh, so we waited for Patty, and in my mind, I was just like, please, Patty, do not open this lock on the first try, because <laughs> that would just be very embarrassing. <laughs> and luckily, I guess, he couldn't open it either. So in the end, we just like snooped around the house and looked through the windows and had to come back to uh, do the showing later. But at least I didn't look too much like a fool, I guess. <laughs> the lock was broken. <laughs> Why do I do what I do? This is a pretty easy question. I mean, there's lots of reasons. It's a great career. Um, but I think it really just boils down to, I love meeting and working with people. Um, that's new clients, that's my colleagues, that's people in the office, the admin staff. There's just so many amazing people that I get to interact with and work with every day. And I think it's just such a privilege to be able to um, help someone through this really probably biggest purchase of their life and really make that process as non-stressful <laughs> as possible even though it is a pretty stressful process to buy a home. Um, I think that's part of our job is to really try to take that stress off of the clients and make it as fun of an experience as possible. So really I feel lucky to get to um, meet new people every day and be a part of those amazing moments in their lives. What makes Ottawa special? This is another pretty easy question for me. I think personally what it really boils down to is I grew up in Ottawa, my family's all here, I have so many memories here. There's really such a personal connection to this city that um, I can't beat. I'm really close with my family and um, I always knew that no matter kind of where I traveled in the world, Ottawa was special and that it's somewhere that I wanted to have my family grow up. But Broader than that, if we think of Ottawa as a city in general, I think we're really lucky. It's kind of that small town feel, but still big city living. You have amazing little pockets of the city that really feel like these lovely little neighborhoods with parks and green space and access to water. Um, but then you also have this lovely downtown core. You have sightseeing, you have theater, um, museums, all of this access to these um, great activities and I just don't think there's any other city that's like that. I'm Nala and I really look forward to working with you.